Hey, hey everybody. Dextraw from Barefoot Bushcraft again here today. On this next little video, I'm going to making another stone necklace. It's going to be a yin yang with a few extra little flourishes on it. So come along for the journey and I hope you enjoy the ride. All right. We're finally going to get onto this little stone necklace now. Um, the intention is to do a bit of a yin-yang with some sort of design around the edge of it. I've drawn up this weird little thing. So yeah, we'll start carving and see how it goes. Uh, the first step I think I'll do is to pull out the angle grinder and get rid of most of this sort of excess bit at the bottom. The stuff up the top there, that shouldn't be too hard to get away with like the rotary tool and the diamond bits, but there's just a bit too much material down here. So yep, first step is to get a bit of a diamond wheel onto the grinder and grind that off. Shall we begin? Now that it's carved back more to the line there, it's going to make it a lot easier on the old rotary tool and the diamond bits. Um, I'm not entirely sure which bits I'm going to use, so these ones are probably going to be the most likely. Circles, triangles and the weird little drum things. Uh, if I use anything else, I'll try to sort of mention what it is. I might actually go in with one of these weird ones as well around the edges type thing here and possibly even use this little Taj Mahal looking thing for a couple of things. But yeah, it's going to be a bit of a trial and error and just see what works. So, without further ado, let's get on to carving this weird little yin yang chicken fetus looking thing. <laughs> okay, let's get on to it. I've got it down to this stage now. Um, I've used a few more diamond bits than I thought. I've actually used all of these so far to get it down to this stage. And the next thing I was going to do is finish drilling this part out here. This little section was going to go all the way through, but it's turning out to be a lot harder than I thought it would be just because of the thickness of the rock. So, change of plans, as seems to happen with my jobs. I'm going to finish smoothing all this off, rounding the edges, and then I'll draw a few things on and I'll show you what I decide to do with it. Right, hey. This is my sort of revised design all drawn on. I'm just going to be going for a simple sort of line type shape. I think one that's all carved in and it'll look pretty good. And I'm going to be using this little bit here to do the carving. Just sort of going along the lines like that. So yeah. Let's get on to a bit more carving, shall we? This is where we're at with our little stone now. I've used all these diamond bits here for this little project and it's pretty much complete. All I've got to do now is to give it a good old sand and a polish and attach the pinch barrel and the chain to it. Now, because I'm trying to keep these videos under 10 minutes long, I might just skip the sanding and or polishing process because I've shown that before. If you want me to show you it again in a future video, leave a comment below and I'll do that. So yeah, let's get it all polished and sanded and I'll show you what it's like after it's all done. Okie dokie. That's another little project all finished. I've got it all sanded down and polished up. I decided not to actually make a necklace out of it. I thought it'd be better as just a little like tactile sort of paperweight type thing. So yeah, that's what it turned out being. Thanks for watching this little clip everybody and I'll catch you on the next one.